Scotty, Scotty, that's very unlike you. What'd you do there? Just pushed it beyond its limits, mate. Just, uh, just ran out of speed. Had that uh, tail down, the nose up, and then the power, and but Actually, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It was uh, yeah. <laughs> straight in. Straight along grass. Let's go and grab it. Oh, the beauty of foam models. Incredible. Look at the grass and the streaks. Not a scratch. <laughs> well, there's still about 40% left from that battery. Let's run it out. Seriously, <laughs> mate. The performance, the acceleration, the vertical on this thing is so good. And it's just plug and play. Right on. Righto. It's impressive, mate. Let's go vertical and keep going. EDS, come a long way. They certainly have.
Tally of flight. This was over 220 minutes. Quickest flight. So I think it's about 180 miles an hour for our friends in the US. <laughs> and Scotty, you're a bit of a tinkerer, mate. What have you done here? It's not a standard stinger tail, is it? No, it's not. This is the only airframe mod on the entire aircraft which I've done, and that's to build this tailpipe. The main reason behind it was just to experiment and see if we can just improve on the E-flux with the thrust. And it does seem to be slightly faster than the standard stingers. Yeah, well against mine it's probably 10 to 15 kph quicker. Mm -hmm. And it might be due to that. Could be. It could be batteries, who knows. But it, it looks good anyway. It does, it looks great. And you've put a lot of flights on it mate. But uh, it's holding up beautifully isn't it? So yes, for a 220 plus flight, uh, it's the best thing for your bike. I can plan. Thank you.